Welcome to the Fast Newsletters email editing tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to get your email newsletter out the door. To begin with, this assumes that you've already created a free MailChimp account for yourself and that you've created your first list using the required settings. If you've not done that, you can create a free MailChimp account from this link and watch the required settings video and set up your first list. Once you've done those two things, you're ready to open the newsletter in your MailChimp account. To do that, you'll come here to the monkey head link and you'll click this link to automatically upload the newsletter into your own MailChimp account. And once it's there, you'll click the edit button to the right of the template and that'll open up the newsletter. On the left side, you'll see the newsletter itself and on the right side is what we call the edit window. As I mouse over on the left side, you see these gray bars, dark gray bars. Each one of these is a different area that you can edit. If you wanted to change the title, for example, you would click on the pencil icon and you would type over this to change that content. So for right now, all we're going to do is change the must change things. To make a change, we click the pencil icon and that opens up an edit window on the right side of your screen. To change your name, just highlight over your name and type your own name in. And then of course you don't want it highlighted in yellow most likely, so just highlight over that again. Come up here to this A on a dark background, that's your background color. Click it and choose automatic. You don't need to change this merge tag here because it will automatically pull in from your list settings. When you're finished with the typing that you need to do in here, you'll click save and close. Don't click save and exit which will remove you entirely from the newsletter. You just want to save and close to close out that one editing window. You don't need to do anything to the search homes now. That's automatically linked to the URL you put into your list settings. Coming down here now, you need to make two changes. You need to change your name and your photo. Let's start by changing the name. Since we just saw how to do that, highlight over it. Type and then highlight again and choose background color automatic. You don't need to change these elements here because they're pulling in from your list settings. To change this placeholder photo, choose replace. If you don't already see your photo on the content manager screen, you would upload it here. You can also search it if you have a lot of files in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick something that I've already got here. Let's choose that one and I'll choose insert. That'll put it in the correct location for me, and I'm done. Save and close. Slide down. This box is here for your use. You can use it in many different ways. If you're a real estate agent, you could put a listing in. You could put a coupon for a service. If you have a testimonial, you could put the picture of your client in here, and then their testimonial over here on this side. If you're working with a uh, a strategic alliance, you could put their information in here and maybe a photo of their business or a coupon. So you click the pencil icon. Let's say that I'm going to put a listing in here. And I don't want it highlighted in red. Remember, I'm seeing over here what it looks like. That'll take a little getting used to. You're making the change on the right and seeing it on the left. So I'm going to come up here to this, pen this uh, A on the dark background, choose automatic. That'll take away the highlighting. I'll type in the information I want to type about that listing here. And then let's say that I have a URL to send people to for more information about that. I'll click this button once until I see the little dots highlighted around it. I'll come up here to this link, click that, and actually type in the URL where I want them to go right there and click insert and that'll automatically create that link. Now I want to browse for a picture. I can browse from here or I can browse from the top of the edit window. And if I hadn't already uploaded one, I would do it there. I'm just going to use this one that's already uploaded. Insert, and I'm done with that box. I would save and close. If I didn't want to use this Learn More box, I could simply delete it, highlight it, and click Delete on my keyboard, and it's gone. If you want something back after you've deleted it, you have to stay within the window. Once I hit Save and Close, I can no longer go to the Undo button and get something back. For right now, since I haven't saved and closed, I can still get that back. If you're not sure and you want to make sure that the, the items that you play around with in these windows are going to work for you, you can always duplicate that using that little duplicate button. 
and then you can make whatever changes you want to one and then delete the other when you're finished. So that changes that box. These next two boxes, the win a free coffee card box, is simply the winner that you chose at random from the people who sent you an email last month with their answers to the quiz question. Now the quiz question appears further down in the email, usually far enough down that they have to scroll quite a ways into the newsletter to get there, and the purpose of that is to make sure they actually go through some of your content. This is already linked. Send your answer now is already linked to your email, so there's nothing you need to do there. So now we're back up at the box. All you want to do is type in the winner's name from last month. And we have it in red. You can change the color of it if you like by coming up to this dark A on the light background opposite of the other one and then choosing a color that you like. And again, remember you're seeing it over here. And save and close. And then on the thank you friends box, this is your opportunity to gain some social capital by listing the real names of people that you're working with. You could type in a sentence here. You could type in any number of names. You're not limited. This box will just continue on down with whatever length you need it to go. And you can, of course, make those bold if you want, just to stand out a little bit more. And again, you can use that uh, any way you want. You could use it to thank a, a service provider, to uh, describe something somebody did for you, uh, giving you a referral, for example, anything you want to do to create that interactivity, that sense that people that you're really there, that this isn't just an off-the-shelf marketing piece, that this is a tool for you to communicate with people. Once you finish with that, save and close, and you're done with the newsletter, it's ready to go out, provided you don't want to make any other changes for your own benefit. If you come up here to preview and test, and you see send a test email, you can send yourself a test email but these merge tags will still look exactly like this. They won't have pulled your information in. And they won't do that until you create a live campaign. And the way to create a live campaign from your templates tab, not your campaigns tab. I know it's counterintuitive, but start from your templates tab. Come over here to the arrow next to the edit button and click create campaign. And then walk through the steps there. And then you'll be able to see those merge tags correctly merged and test all the links.